Hello and welcome to another in a series of technology-focused tips brought to you by the team at K2 Enterprises. My name is Tommy Stevens. I'm one of the shareholders at K2 Enterprises. We thank you for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the exciting new XLOOKUP function available in Excel. More specifically, today's tip is going to focus on how you can utilize XLOOKUP to look up data across multiple workbooks. Hope you're looking forward to a great session. I certainly am. Now, before I jump in and show you how you can utilize XLOOKUP to look up data across multiple workbooks, let's very quickly review some of the advantages associated with the relatively new XLOOKUP feature. Among others that are worthy of noting, XLOOKUP can look up data both to the right and or to the left. As you'll recall, when we're talking about a VLOOK, we're typically always looking up uh, to the right with a VLOOKUP. Uh, but when we're uh, utilizing XLOOKUP, X look that is, we certainly have a bit more flexibility. XLOOKUP is also capable of returning multiple results. If indeed multiple results uh, do match the lookup criteria, XLOOKUP, X look excuse me, can handle that, whereas VLOOKUP cannot. XLOOKUP defaults to an exact match. If you'll recall, in a VLOOKUP or an HLOOKUP environment, for that matter, we're always dealing with approximate matches as the default, and we have to instruct the function that we want it to do the exact match, not so much uh, with the case of XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP can work with both vertical as well as horizontal data, so it therefore can serve as a replacement or at least an alternative to both VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, and oh, by the way, perhaps also in some cases index and match functions too. XLOOKUP can perform a reverse search um, that is going from last to first instead of first to last, if indeed that might be necessary. You can utilize XLOOKUP to return entire rows or columns of data, not just one value, uh, if indeed that is appropriate. And also, next XLOOKUP works with arrays, if necessary, to apply con complex criteria. That is to say, our, our lookup function here doesn't have to be something you know along the lines of if the employee number is 101, uh, bring bring back to me the you know the the record associated with employee number 101. It can bring back all employee records for uh, all employees 101 or perhaps all employee records where you've got multiple employees in the same zip code or something of that nature. So I just wanted to give you a quick high, uh, high overview of some of the advantages associated with XLOOKUP. Now with those out of the way, let's jump in and take a look at how we can utilize XLOOKUP across multiple workbooks. As you can see, I've just toggled my windows uh, over to two open Excel workbooks. These are two different workbooks. Let me be clear about this. This is not uh, two worksheets within the same workbook. Over here on the left-hand side, I've actually hidden a few columns, as you can tell there, between column C and column G, uh, just to be able to get everything on screen without having to reduce uh, the size of the text too much. And by the way, the workbook over here on the left is the employee workbook, and the workbook over here on the right is the salary workbook. Now, as you will see, there is a common column uh, for each of these workbooks. That is to say, the employee ID column in the salary workbook, and of course, the employee ID column over in the employee workbook. And that's how I'm going to link these two ranges of data together, notwithstanding the fact that they are indeed in different workbooks. To make that happen, we are going to jump into column H. What we want to do is match up on the employee ID code and then pull the current salary from the workbook on the right, the salary workbook, into the workbook on the left, again, which is the employee workbook. To make that happen in this case, I will just start out with an XLOOKUP function and tell in this example that I uh, tell Excel in this example that I want my lookup value to be the employee ID code, that is the value in cell A2. Now I'm saying, okay, where do we want to go and look up this information? Well, where I want to look up this information is in cells, um, well, I actually over in this uh, other workbook, uh, more specifically cell A2 through A21. Now notice I didn't select the entire range because uh, when we're working with XLOOKUP, we have uh, separate lookup ranges versus return ranges, if you will, and you'll see that in just a moment. So this is my lookup array or lookup range. And now what I'm going to tell XLOOKUP is when it finds a match, and remember, by default, it's pulling out ex, um, exact matches, that is the default, not approximate, to, to go and get the corresponding value, of course, from the current salary column. 
So as I select that column and uh, close out my parentheses, that's all I have to do in this case. I would point out before I go ahead and press return, see that the data over here on the right-hand side in the salary workbook is actually in the form of a table. That is certainly not a requirement. It's something that I always advocate working with tables, uh, but I, for purposes of demonstration here, I wanted you to see the data on the left is just an ordinary range. The data on the right is a table. Uh, frankly, they both could be ordinary ranges or they could both be tables. My preference would be to have them both as tables. But for purposes of demonstration, I wanted you to see that you've got tremendous flexibility there. All I have to do now, of course, is press my Enter key and we can see it has found the appropriate salary for employee number 101, Leonard McKenzie. And now, of course, I will just copy that formula all the way down the range and we can see now that the data is being pulled over into the uh, range on the left-hand side, that is the employee workbook from the current salary column in the salary workbook. Now, very specifically, let's keep our eye focused on row number two in the employee workbook. Uh, let's go now and change the salary for employee number 101. Uh, let's maybe take that up to $125,000, for instance. And obviously, as you can see in the workbook on the left, we got an immediate update to that salary. As you can see, it's very, very easy to work with XLOOKUP regardless of whether we happen to be all, uh, shall we say, contained in a single workbook or in an example like this where we're jumping across multiple workbooks. If you have access to XLOOKUP and you're not taking advantage of it, let me encourage you to go out and learn a little bit more about it. Very easy to work with, as you can tell, and very, very powerful. One of the things that I really appreciate about XLOOKUP is it gives me the ability to kind of forget about so many other functions in Excel, namely VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, and perhaps even Index and Match. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found this information to be useful. Come back again and see us real soon. Once again, thanks.